Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the Comedy Store La Jolla for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. La Jolla, make some fucking noise. We're live. Here we are. Brian Redband's here, everybody. Hey, guys. We're back What's going in on? La Jolla. The first place we ever took Kill Tony on the road uh, about five and a half years yeah. ago. And we are back, finally. How many of you were at that show years ago, huh? Look at that. We're wow. not good. We're not no very one. good at retaining fans on this uh, show. Uh, 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 normally, people only like us for about a month, and then they're done. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. You know, fun fact about that episode is Jeremiah was a guest. He wasn't even on the show at that point. He was yes. just a special and guest. And I remember specifically, he wasn't even that happy with his appearance on the show that night. He's okay. like, oh, I couldn't really find my hoodie. I couldn't really, like, get you know, and look at him fucking now, right? <laughs> Jeremiah, one of the stars of this show. Yeah. Uh, exciting to be back here. Uh, we fucking love La Jolla. It's nice to be able to, uh, you know, make a nice little couple hour drive from where we are uh, based out of Los Angeles. Are you guys excited about this, La Jolla, California? <laughs> this is a special place. This is different than a lot of places. This yeah. is going to be a fun show for those of you listening from around the world. La Jolla is famously a very rich, successful city. Uh, you would not know it by looking at this audience that is, uh, that is here tonight. This looks like uh, some type of fire festival uh, airport holding tank or something like that. We have an angry lady over here refusing to smile. There you go, sweetheart. Let it out. Hey, the great Ryan J. Ebelt is here, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Yeah. There he is. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that a special treat? He draws every single episode of this show. While you guys all sit there enjoying yourself, he's there. And he actually has amazing prints available for sale uh, right after the show. So if yeah. anybody's interested in that, you can get it and get it signed. I also Call brought us. a bunch of Death Squad shirts, which I never do. So Ooh, if la, la, Death Squad, Death Squad, Death Squad shirts. We yeah. got Kill Tony shirts. Yeah. Jeremiah has some merch. And uh, we're going to be selling this stuff all around the country, too, because the world tour continues. Uh, a couple weeks, we're in Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, Nevada, Salt Lake City, Boise, Spokane, Portland, Vancouver, Seattle, Lawrence, Kansas, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, Appleton, Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison, Minneapolis, Poughkeepsie, New York, and then New York, New York, which... Little breaking news for you. Guess what, New York? We absolutely, positively sold out of uh, the New York show. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and uh, we've added another show there. So we're going to be doing two shows that night at the Gramercy Theater. That is uh, ka-ting, breaking news. Uh, there you go. Very good. Yeah. So we're starting strong here tonight. Uh I'm excited about uh, excited about all these world travels that we're doing, and uh, this Monday we're back in LA with, of course, Nick Swartzen, and we're doing two shows here tonight, live from La Jolla, and that's a really big deal, and I'm excited about it. Of course, as always, with all of our road episodes, uh, there's never a guest. You're always lucky if you get a bandmate or uh, or two on the road. You know what I mean? Maybe if you're lucky, uh, but uh, you know what? Who's luckier than beautiful La Jolla, California? 72 degrees and sunny every single day. And, uh, and we have a band. We have a band that has come with us here tonight. And uh, you know them as the best damn band in the land. Every single episode, they get into a different character. Maybe it's a brand new character that we've never seen before. Maybe it's the return of some of the legendary characters. Shanks the Prisoner, Feminist Stacy, and crew. It could, anything can happen. Let's see what they are tonight, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins, Joelberg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Wow. Wow. Oh, look at this. Wow. Holy shit. Chroma Chris is here. Drinking a Paps Blue Ribbon. They are the white trash guys. We've seen this before. This is incredible. Wow. Jeremiah Watkins looking like Theo Vaughn on steroids. <laughs> this is mind-blowing. Wow. My goodness. Did I mention we're going to be in Lawrence, Kansas, and Omaha, Nebraska on this tour? Because, wow. That's God's country, man. 
Wow, look at this. We have Jeremiah Watkins uh, looking gray. We have Chroma Chris, who looks like the uh, some type of transgender Harley Davidson. Uh, the name's uh, Jesse, Jesse Molette. Oh, Jesse Molette. Oh, wow. And, uh, and who are you, uh, band leader? I'm Dave Gunther. What's up, y'all? Wait, wh- what? What was that name? Dave Gunther. Dave Gunther. I don't want to forget that. And uh, what is this little? Uh, hey, what's up? What's up what with your is, bangs? My goodness! I feel like I feel like this is what John Benet looked like while she was being strangled. Oh, it's all red in the face. <laughs> Got the Terry Schiavo haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the references. All right. That is, did yeah. you cut that? Oh, I mean, well, I guess I guess. Oh, all right, forget it. Uh, my mama your... cut that hair, so you better shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> What, uh, what is your name, you sweet little thing? My name is Travis Plow. Travis Plow? That's right. All right, Travis they, Plow. Uh, they locked me out of the motorhome. I got a bit of a tan. <laughs> wow, yeah. You look sunburnt as fuck. Yeah. It's an incredible little reminder. Uh, uh, they, uh, the comedy store emergency exits are on both sides, the back left and the back right. And your entrance point tonight, there's only one of them. Don't try to be funny by jumping on stage over somebody's fucking table. Uh, come right over here on the right-hand side, right behind, uh, right in the middle of between the band. And uh, then you're on stage. If your name gets pulled out of the bucket, then you have 60 seconds on this stage. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry Pacific Beach bear. <laughs> Heck yeah. And don't forget, the new Reagan & Watkins album is out June 7th, available Ooh. everywhere. Uh, it's a really big deal. Can't wait Both for that. Both of them uh, to kill Tony favorites. And uh, so, yeah, you know how the show works. You get 60 uninterrupted seconds to do stand-up. Maybe it's somebody's first time. Maybe it's the return of, uh, of someone. Um, uh, maybe it's the return of, uh, of someone that... Uh, Don't. Man, are we having a stroke up here? What the hell is going on right now? Tony, can I give a shout out to my brother right here? He's right here sitting with the long hair in the middle. <laughs> Is that, oh yeah, this yeah, right Go here. ahead, stand on up. That's my brother right there. Oh, oh, that guy Timothy right there. Timothy Plow, baby. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> look at that pile of trash. That's incredible. Is that the guy that shot up the Jewish synagogue last yeah. night? Who is this guy? Oh. You had to be here. It's a San Diego reference. Only one dead, two injured. Come on, people. That's... Are you guys in this? Is it too early to make jokes like this? San Diego, I love you so much. You know, this is actually the place where I did my first ever paid comedy gig, doing a five-minute spot almost 12 years ago, and this place is very special to me. So when I found out we were bringing Kill Tony back here, I figured, why not make it super special? So before we actually start tonight's show, why don't we, as true patriots and good Americans, have a little... uh, rendition of the national anthem from one of my favorite human beings who was able to physically make it here today. Uh, You know her as an icon on this show. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and only Aphrodite. Wow, look at this. Wow, in the flesh, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, one more time. It's the real Aphrodite. Hello, hello. There we go. There we go. Uh, hello, you sweet fuckers. <laughs> All right, let me hear that, Chris. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, all oh, the romp 
because we was were so gallantly streaming and the rock is regular bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yeah, way oh the land and all the free and the gentlemen yeah there she is the queen bee afro motherfucking dighty everybody come on she she got on a motherfucking amtrak to be here with you today all right here we go enough said your first comedian going up tonight you guys ready to start this fucking bitch whoopsie 60 seconds uninterrupted goes to Joanne Pena, everybody. Joanne. Jo Giovanni. Giovanni. Here he comes, Giovanni Pena. Uh oh. Nope. One more time for Giovanni Pena, everyone. <laughs> How you guys doing? Uh, I really signed up as a joke, really, but here I am. So uh, um, I'm from San Diego, uh, LA, actually, and I live in San Diego now. I grew up in LA most of my life. Uh, I tried living in Tijuana um, just because of the cheaper rent. Um, but I don't know Spanish. I know I look at, like I know Spanish, <laughs> uh, but I never learned. So how I, how I deal with living over there is I basically just put on a hearing aid and pretend I was deaf. So when people would just talk Spanish to me, they would be mad most of the time because I didn't know Spanish and they thought I was lying to them. So I just came up with this idea so this really helped so they felt sympathetic to me there you go giovanni there you go very good giovanni get your ass back up here get your ass back up here get your ass back up here so giovanni do you do you know the show at all have you ever seen it have you ever heard it my friend over here, he, he, he brought me. But I saw you at Joe Rogan on 420. Right. Fuck were, yeah, you, you did. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you saw me do stand-up. You came to a different show that I host. And you that, were here, man. So I heard. I was like, all right. All right. That you're in. And then you get here, and, 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 they're, and they're like, oh, if you want to sign up, it's over there. And you're just like, okay. Yeah. Was that bad? Well, I don't know. Well, I, 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 honestly, my guess is that you'll probably have one of the best sets of the night when the smoke clears. <laughs> You got a couple laughs in there. It was pretty good. What the fuck are you doing with that microphone? What? Yeah. Giovanni, yeah. this is the problem that you're going to find in life when you sign up for shit that you don't know what the fuck you're signing up for. Let's check in with uh, Dan Dave Gunther over here. Yeah, can I just say there's something I don't like about this guy, and I don't think it's his comedy. Come on, man. Yeah, t well, Tony. What is it, man? Can't put my finger on him, man. I, I was going to say, judging by the way you look, this isn't the first time you've been randomly selected. <laughs> Dude. 
motherfucking Zolberg is already warmed up. Holy shit. Let little Steph Curry from the deep spot. God damn, god damn. Come on, Larry Bird, man, Larry Bird. <laughs> wow. So, Giovanni, uh, let's talk about, uh, since you don't know anything about this show, I got bad news for you. We're going to talk about your personal life now. Uh, Giovanni, uh, what do you do for work? I'm a welder. A router? A welder. A welder? Yeah, well. Wow, you don't speak Spanish or English. <laughs> it's incredible. So, so la dura. A welder. So la dura. I learned that. Uh, Okie dokie. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll take two California burritos, please. Uh, the fuck are you talking si, about? Uh, how long have you been a welder your whole life? Uh, two years. Two years. What did you do before that? Uh, I worked in retail. Yeah? What were you selling in retail? Uh, I sold washers, dryers at Sears. Wow. Washers yeah. and dryers. I moved up Sears. from the shoe department up to selling washers and dryers. Wow, look at you. It's you hear that, kids? Moving on up to a deluxe apartment in America. I love it. So, Giovanni, uh, what's your love life like, man? You got a girl. You got the... Uh, you, uh, Giovanni looks like uh, someone that was told that uh, the only true American is DJ Khaled or something <laughs> like that. Like, man. like posters, yes. <laughs> Man, he looks like if ISIS had a boy band. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Brown Street Boys, perhaps. Or, uh... Uh, bye, bye, bye. See you later, man. Yeah. What would that boy band be called? 9-11 degrees or something <laughs> like that? Yeah, it's the beard. It's the beard. If I shave, I, I'll, I'll look more Mexican. It's also your skin color. Yeah. <laughs> Beard and the skin color. Very good observation. <laughs> well, Giovanni, I mean, I'm going to tell you something. You didn't know what the fuck you were getting into, know, but instead of just... A lot of people do that. You know, we've had a lot of bozos lately. They're like, I didn't even know what I was here for. And then, they, then they're fucking up here, but they don't have the right positive attitude to fucking get through the motions, and it's just annoying for us and the show. But there's something about you... You know, you stayed in the pocket. You ended up getting fucking real jokes out there at some point. It was he sort did? of honest. Well, yeah, he was, on, he was being honest Thank about you. talking about, uh, you know, not being able to fucking talk. And it made sense. <laughs> you got laughs. And then in the interview part, even though you wanted to get the fuck out of here for your life, you stayed up there with a smile on your face and you took it like a fucking whatever you are. <laughs> so I'm going to get you out of here. There he Thank goes. You, Yovani Thank Pena, everybody. Maybe, maybe we should talk more about not signing your friends up, and if you don't know the show, don't sign Well, up, I mean, you know? it's interesting to me because it's an anomaly. I feel like when the, the last, I feel like when the more recent episodes come out and more people hear them, like, it's like people will be like, oh, I get it. Yeah. I'm a big oh. enough fan to sign my friends up, but I'm such a big fan that I also know that that's a horrible idea. That's like, there's like idea. a fine line. It barely works. Also, if it you're, doesn't uh, work. If you're it, sitting next to him, uh, please report any unattended packages. Yeah. <laughs> It definitely doesn't work. That is a good point. For yeah. those of you listening that think that when you get here, oh, I'll sign my fucking... Some dude signed his wife up the other night and I stole her soul from her. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> just don't do it. Yeah. Uh, this looks like an interesting... It seems like it could be like a real comedian. Uh, it's a comedy name. Put your hands together for Ron Ripley, everyone. Ron Ripley. Wow, that is. A... Wow, look at this. He looks like a Ron Ripley. There he is, Ron Ripley. Hello? Ooh, let's start. All right. Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, my name's Ron fucking Ripley. And uh, let me see. Spent Easter with my family, and my father gave me some fatherly advice, pulled me aside, said, Son, let me tell you something. If you give a man a fish, you only feed him for a day. But if you teach that man to fish, son, then you can fuck that man's wife while he's out fishing. Remember that. <laughs> Nobody liked my dad, but he had a lot of fishing buddies, you know? <laughs> Went to Legoland recently to uh, return some toys and found out the hard way that if you're a 37-year-old man walking around Legoland with a big smile on your face but no child with you, people get fucking judgy. <laughs> It's really bad. I don't like it. It made me uncomfortable, too, so I beat Legoland at their own game. Next time I went down there, I just brought a child I was molesting with me. They let me right inside. No questions asked. That it. I think that's about my time. Thank you guys so much. I've been Ron Ripley. Yeah, there you go. 
Back from that ledge, my friend. Uh, so, uh, so Ron, uh, let's talk about it. This is a big transition for us. We went from 9-11 to Fahrenheit 9-11. Uh, <laughs> the great young wow. Michael like Moore is here, like everybody. That. Either that or uh, Hannah Gadsby from the Netflix special, Nanette. <laughs> this is incredible. You look like a giant lesbian. I've said that to a great many people. Probably my most used line in the show's history, but you... My friend, with even that new facial hair, because they have like medicine for that. Right. Now, you know what I mean? It's coming. Les- in. Lesbians have. Well, Jesus, shut the fuck heads. up. <laughs> the hell was that? Uh, hello, uh, Ron. Um, hello. Ha- you work here at the comedy store. I You're do. a comedy store employee. I do. And your real name is Ron Ripley? Absolutely, 100%. Wow. Real. Believe it or not, Believe I love that. You know? <laughs> shut up, Joel Bert. Take it easy back there, hairdo. It's so stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ron, how long have you worked here at the comedy store La Jolla? I've uh, been here just over a year, and I've uh, been doing comedy about three and a half years. Comedy about three and a half years. And how long have you been a softball coach? <laughs> <laughs> My whole life. Wow. Uh, Ron, what do you do for fun when you're not working here at the comedy store doing stand-up? What else? What are some fun hobbies for you? Uh, coach a lot of softball. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Tell the truth. No, no uh... But I just uh, I go to school, go to SDSU, so that takes up a lot of my time. You if, what? Uh, San Diego State. Oh, yeah? What are you studying there? Study meeting and event management. Meeting and, and event, event management. management. Couldn't you just get a job at, like, Holiday Inn and do that for free? Or, like, you don't have you to. You can, actually. That's what you're supposed to do. The, the program is, like, gets 20-year-old girls to sell ballroom space at the Radisson to pharmaceutical conventions all over the country. It's, it's not really my gig. But hey, you know, you meet a lot of lesbians. I'm going to introduce you to a website called Craigslist. It's going to change your life. <laughs> you don't need no college for that, man. <laughs> Meeting and event management. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's, uh, you go, you have a girlfriend? Uh, married. Married? Married, man. Wow. Jeez. You yeah, seem... I'm not happy about it either. Yeah, you seem really sad. Oh, uh, it's... Can you tell us some more about this marriage? How long have you known her for? I've, uh, we've been together for uh, 10 years. Whoa. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. She thinks it's like the notebook. How old are you? Uh, how old do you think I am? Oh, oh are, you, you, are you a 21-year-old girl? Because uh, that's who If I am, I'm killing it. <laughs> 21 and a half, Tony. Now that you ask like that, yeah, I'm um, pretty sure. I'm legal. No, I'm 37. 37. 37. You've been with this if girl I'm a day. for 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Where did you meet her at? Right here. She's, uh, she's from Bird Rock. She grew up here. Uh, went to La Jolla High School. She's from where? Uh, Bird Rock. It's, uh, the circle's right over there. It's, you got to drive through it. How do you speak to... fucking better than the Mexican kid that was, uh, I mean, worse than the Mexican kid that was up here earlier? I can barely <laughs> understand anything you're saying, Ron. Uh, so you met in Powawada and... Uh, met in Powawada. Burbank, yeah. Right. No, it's from Bird Rock, which is right there. Bird, Bird Rock. Box. Rock. Very good. Sandra right Bullock. Here. Your wife is Sandra Bullock from the hit movie Bird Box. I got yeah. it now. Uh, what, do, what does she do for work? She works at the zoo. She San works Diego at the zoo? zoo? Yep. Wow, what is she, one of the pigs? Nope. Oh. I don't know. I'm just trying to have some fun here. What, is, what, is she, what does she do at the zoo? Uh, she, <laughs> you got she, Dave. What are you holding out of that mic? Man, for? call another oh, man's wife a pig, man. That ain't right, man. <laughs> man, that's our N word, man. You don't say that, dude. <laughs> also, the N word is our N word. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Woo! La Jolla goes crazy at any joke about the N word. That is their, uh, that is their bread. <laughs> what do you want me to right say to there? that? I like, you know, call my wife a pig. I like working. So I can't. Yeah, I, handsome man. Right. So, right. What, what does she do with the zoo, Ron? Uh, she asks rich people for money. She asks well, rich people. Asks like for money. people that can donate like five million dollars. Hey, if you donate five million dollars, I'll make sure you get to see the the tiger trail when it opens Jeez. up. You know, it gets oh. donations. This is a nonprofit. The zoo. I, so. I got a question. Yeah. Is there any reason why you don't wear a, a wedding ring? Ooh! Oh shit! It's a very good question. It's a good question. Uh, I get I get hit on a lot less when I wear a wedding ring, so that's my thing. Wait a second. Hold on. Wow, Joel, you've just found gold, my friend. Ah, uh, what? I like. No, you know. stop. Stop. Relax. Listen that, to me. And Listen that gold is not around his finger. <laughs> So you're saying that you get hit on less, less. when you have, when, I have uh, it on. when you have it 
off. Right, because if they if women know that this is available, they no, stay no, the fuck away from it. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. How many See, women have hit on you with a wedding ring on? Like total. Like on one hand, show me. How many women have hit on you with a wedding ring on? One I don't know. If you had to guess, if you had to throw a number out here for these people, if let's say we were on a live fucking show right now. <laughs> for the sake of the live show, I'll uh, thirty-eight. 38, 38 women have yep. hit on you Just, in I the like past to keep 10 years yeah, I like to keep with track. a wedding ring on. Good, yeah. can, lady, can you say that one more time? <laughs> There's women yelling bullshit for those of you listening to the podcast. <laughs> 38 women. So you're, wow. Yeah. You really think that? One, so about one, 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 every, one every couple months or so? Yeah, it's got breaking hearts. Do you have the wedding ring on you by any chance? No. I want to see what happens. I want to see if you put, like, it's some Lord of the Rings shit where he just puts the ring on and just went... What's your name? No, the wow, Ron Ripley, so cool. Ron Ripley. The real story is I rolled an ATV and I, I shattered my hand and I, they had to cut the wedding ring off because like a dumbass, I was out there in an off-roading vehicle and it pinched it. It was oh. like the size of a grapefruit. So, oh, so yeah. you, you, were, you just haven't gotten a new one. See, you were... You, oh, okay. How convenient. Well, there you go. Yeah. The real answer is... Everybody just... It's boring. Everybody it's boring. For, the, for the rest of the show, uh, just give us the real answer is the first answer. Yeah. Uh... Some people, uh, some people try to second city this shit up here. And uh, Red Band, what do you think about this guy? Anything about this guy? I don't fucking know. It's like a, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's really it's like a, I'm pretty sure he's the guy that guy. sat this everybody guy. here tonight. Everybody like your seats, huh? There you go. Ron, they fucking love you. They love you. There he is, Ron Ripley, everybody. Wow. Don't jump off that ledge, my friend. <laughs> All right, pulled another name out of the bucket. Uh, make some noise for your next comedian, Colton Harpy. Colton Harpy. Here he comes. Wow. Wow. Wow, we're just doing the whole staff of the go. comedy store. Nice. All right, Colton Harpy. Uh, anyone here like uh, jacking off? Any big J.O. fans of that? Yeah, I uh, recently got into a relationship, so those days are over. And uh, my girlfriend, she is Mexican. Thank you. Which means I'm a stepfather now. <laughs> kind of comes as a package deal. And, you know, I wouldn't mind her son so much, but he's always asking for rides places and for money and for food. And it's like, Jesus Christ, I know he's only five years old, but when are you going to get your shit together, man, you know? Like, we've all been down to the border, okay? We know what kids are capable of at five years old. <laughs> Am I right? So, yeah, as you can tell by now, I work with children at an elementary school. And I'm thinking about writing my own book. It's going to be called The Things You'll Do for Pussy. It's going to be a pop-up book. The middle might be scratch and sniff. Who knows? All right, that's my time. Thank you, guys. There you go. Colton Harpy. All right. Colton, your, your head does not match your body. I know. I There's know. something going on There's here. There's something weird. Uh, I mean, uh, what is what is what is, what is going on? How what what, what is that? Uh, How do you do that? Did you like figure out? Did you like fucking uh, Tony Stark this shit and just figure out like, like a chemical skipped. requirement so that you could just fucking do math and get buff at the same time? I've yeah, been, you, I've been trying to figure something. There's no even balance. I don't so know. you work out a lot. I try to. Yes. My goodness. Well, you skip neck and head day. <laughs> <laughs> but oh wow a little delayed Joelberg there yes I'm gonna check in with Dave do, Gunther do, yeah does it bother you how much you work out and your eyes will always be weak <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah I, <laughs> I like the Mexican stuff keep it up <laughs> thank you thank you why don't you wear contacts uh, I always forget they're in. I used to wear them, and I'd rub my eye, and they just... That's what your girlfriend says. 
There's a place across the street called Mathnasium, and you look like you run the entire thing. Can I tell you that? It's like a gymnasium for math. I just can't get over it. I mean, your head is so nerdy. You have the face, pure nerd face. I know, I know. I'm how trying many to th- find... You, I mean, I want to know, how many, like, when, how many times did you get bullied until you decided you're going to become the bully? Uh, did you get the girl question. at the end of the movie? I'm still writing the movie, so oh. it's just, it's not... Oh, I love it, I love it, You I keep breaking it. typewriters with those hands? <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? Do you break typewriters with those hands? I just... Typewriters? I, I try to How, type with my fist, just... You are a comedy store employee, clearly. You are on the uh, other post, uh, the other back door. I still got the guy that didn't know what the fuck the show was out ahead uh, by a little bit so far <laughs> in this show. Um, just by a touch. Colton had jokes. How long have you worked here at the comedy store? Uh, I've been here about three months now. So. Three months. Uh, what were you doing before that? Um, I actually did work with kids. Um, I worked at an elementary school, and then I worked with... Uh, I was a behavioral therapist working with kids of like special needs. So. Jesus, Thank you. Behavioral <laughs> therapist. Special needs. Yeah. What, what are we... What Whoa, kind? put a wedding ring on this guy. This guy's going to get some pussy tonight. <laughs> What, uh, what, what kind of uh, special needs did they have? Like, what, kind, what was like, some of their... Uh, learning behavior issues. Uh, Red band. <laughs> learning behavior issues? What does that mean? Like, how far, how, like, on a scale from one to derp? Like, what are we talking uh, about they, here? It's, it's just, uh, s- some of them were pretty derp. Some of oh, them were pretty, wow. uh... There you go. Wow. I'm not the one they, who said wow, it. Wow, they don't like it when you say it. Yeah, I can say what the it. Fuck? Yeah, dude, you're coming off like a real dirt bag right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Joe Derp over here. <laughs> so, uh, Colton. How I keep l- thinking he's going to unzip his body into a skinnier version of himself. <laughs> So, Colton, you've been uh, working at the comedy store for three months. Uh, have you been doing stand-up for longer? Yeah, I actually... You've been uh, doing push-ups way longer than that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I started... Um, I'm originally from Connecticut. I started a few years ago. I, I did a workshop in New York mm. at Gotham, mm. uh, which kind of got my confidence going and everything, yeah. um, which still isn't there much, but... Wow, geez, wow. We're, we're, Tough we're, on the we're, outside. We're working on it, you know. Soft on the it. inside. We're Look at this fucking little... To be honest with you, at the gym, I'm the man, but here, not so confident. <laughs> My goodness, Colton. And what's the let's uh, let's uh, is there any like proper explanation for why you're so huge uh, in the arms? Yeah, like, I. What happened? I, Do you I, only I, have like a, a chin up bar or something like that? Like, no, growing up, I was a huge wrestling fan, and it motivated ooh. me to start uh, working. I actually wanted to be a wrestler growing up. Wow. And, and then I'm like, uh, you know what? I'm just going to try to be funny. If you were going to uh, have a wrestling character, do you ever picture what yours would be? Like what your angle would be? Good guy, bad guy? What do you think? I'd be a bad guy. Yeah? Yeah. You have any idea what like, you, you would create a character? Like what would it, what it would be like? The fucking, I'd uh, focus like the fucking, on my head. Like the mean substitute teacher or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I would just be like shitting. You fuckers ready? to learn <laughs> pick up your smart bells <laughs> um. <laughs> did you ever think of anything Colton did you ever have any ideas no or? I it, it never got to that I just made a genius joke you retards pick up your smart bells smart bells instead of dumbbell oh, retard smart bells very good very good very good smart bells Yes, there you go. Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant, Dave Gunther. Very good. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, brilliant, uh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Joke. Oh, God, that's a dumb one. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Colton, uh, congrats on working here. You know, working at the comedy store is a fucking big deal. Uh, it opens up the possibility of one day getting transferred up to the comedy store up in Hollywood, and there's a lot of tradition and everything involved with that, so I'm excited to see uh, you down the road. We'll Thank always you. have this to laugh about. Colton cool. Harpy, everyone. There, you there he goes. There you go. There's... You guys having fun out there? 
That is true, right? Like, like that's what all those guys that work here, they all try to make it into Hollywood. They never go the that's other way. That's it. Like, no, there's some greats up there. We got, you know, there's, uh, you know, a lot of greats have uh, come from down here. Bobby Lee, Bobby Lee was yeah. originally a La Jolla Comedy Store employee. Um, uh, Brian Moses? Brian Moses, the creator of the hit show Roast Battle, is from right here. He was uh, an employee here when I... And Renee. Yeah, yeah Renee Lancaster. <laughs> all right. Alberto David Mercado, you have been chosen. Alberto David Mercado, everybody, one more time. What's up, everybody? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, My parents are immigrants from Mexico. And when they got to this country, uh, they worked their asses off, they became American citizens, and now they're living the American dream, guys. They hired a Mexican cleaning lady. (laughs) We made it, y'all! And I don't really understand why some people want to deport the Mexicans. If we deport the Mexicans, who the fuck's gonna cook all the Chinese food? You know, and growing up Latino, I feel like that makes me more accepting of people that are transgender. Yeah, because like my mom has a thicker mustache than my dad. (laughs) I get it, guys, I do. And the older I get, the more Mexican I become, I swear. I gotta put hot sauce or salsa on everything that I eat, especially white women. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Booyah. That's how you do it in the pros right there. Beautiful, perfect set by Alberto David Mercado. Absolutely Thank nailing you. it. You've been doing this a few years, huh? Eight, eight months. Eight months? Wow. Jesus fucking That's Christ. Great. Look at you. You're but I'm a nerd, and I did speech and debate and shit like that. So Say yeah. that again? Yeah. I'm a nerd, and I did speech and debate in high school and in college. So I feel like it helps a little bit. Wow. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're like if the first guy that went on first got his life together. Ha. Huh, really? <laughs> Look, Tony, I shaved the beard, I took speech classes, and now I'm serious about about this. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you remember me from my first time when I was in La Jolla with you. No bullshit. I was super nervous, man. And I was like, I got to be prepared. Just now, you were super nervous. No, I thought... the whole fucking day. It was, it was like... Wow. Look at you. <laughs> look at that. And then you fucking... Look at you. Hell yeah. Just... If, you, if you ever head need you another Mexican, I mean... Whoa. Let me know, man. Whoa. You, me don't, know. you don't know how to play drums, do you? No, no, no. no. Okay, but but I can help with sound and video. <laughs> no, he just, and no, no, he just <laughs> looks like one. I work for free, too. <laughs> wow. And I'll have a Spanish off with him, though. Whoa. Whoa. What's a Spanish? Whoa. Nobody uh, wants to hear it. Sorry, sorry. Wow. Man, you were the wrong show, brother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Alberto David Mercado, am That's I saying it. that correctly? Yep. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a substitute teacher. Substitute teacher? Yeah. Wow. On a level. Ah, of... caramba. <laughs> do you specialize in anything in particular when you're substitute teaching? Um, no, right now, just, just subbing to pay the bills. I do anything from kindergarten to high school. Heck yeah, you're just fucking substitute slut. You'll just fucking. <laughs> You'll take on anything, it's just true. fucking at any point. Seriously. Right? <laughs> I like it. What do you, you have a preference? Do you like the older kids or the course, younger kids? Right. Like, uh, like, what are we talking about? Like, like, what, like, what's your favorite age to substitute teach? You could, you could just, uh, you could tell us by the number or you could tell us which part in the Michael Jackson HBO yeah. documentary. <laughs> or just say Los Chiquitos. Oh, oh shit. This I is a, it's a very <laughs> Spanish friendly episode of Kill Tony. Uh, we are miles away from Tijuana, and it shows. <laughs> but, uh, I don't have a preference, but I, I do realize like I've been I've been doing it for a while. I, I, yeah, I, tell us more, you big fucking baby. <laughs> fuck! I don't like kindergartners, man. You don't? I don't. No, why? tell us tell us tell us why. Their teeth get in the way. Hopefully, I don't get my. <laughs> <laughs> They're not developed yet. Dude, little kindergartner, I can't even fit this in your butthole, dude. <laughs> this thing's so goddamn tight, I can only get my pinky in there. I don't know why I make you so... tiring after this, I'll, I'll be looking for a job, guys. Oh, there you go. There you go. You look, <laughs> you look like uh, you look, you look like you also like subs at the uh, sandwich shop as well. So. I do. I Is that do. what you mean by a sub? All right. Why don't, <laughs> why don't you hate kin- or why don't you like kindergartners? 
They're like little humans with no brains at all, and they're operating and running around. Yeah, but aren't they fun and adorable and cute to play with? You don't have to worry gets, about getting stabbed or something? It gets old real quick. Mm-hmm. Like, And it's just like I, they're mindless. you got to do everything for them, and you got to like, watch them, keep them safe because they'll just – You have to wash them? Wa- <laughs> you sure about that? Watch them. <laughs> Because they'll do gnarly shit. They'll just grab scissors and fucking poke that kid. And wow. Like, oh, dude. Wow. So that's what you do. You're a substitute teacher. Yeah. Do you wait to, like, get the call that day? Do they usually give you a little warning? Or, like, how does that work? Um, it depends. Sometimes they'll literally give you, like, a day's notice. Sometimes yeah. it's a long-term thing. Yeah. So you'll have, like, three days, you know. So let's things, say, because I used to be fucking. I mean, I know you guys have a tough job. And I was one of those guys. I mean, I just, fuck, I was, oh, <laughs> Substitute teachers were just the, the joker to my Batman. No, we are. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, so can you give us an example of a time that you had some older kids and they were real assholes to you? You come in with the TV and the VCR just like, all right, hey, look at me. I'm a fucking, VCR. look at me. I'm a chubby douchebag. Uh, come on, kids. You're going to fucking love me. Right? What happened? B- believe it or not, it sounds fucking bullshit, but I, I do try to use humor and comedy to break up the the tension. Can you give us an example of that? <laughs> like, How uh, can I reach these kids? <laughs> <laughs> Stand and deliver, fool. Hey, hey Mr. Mercado, you're fat, eh? And that's exactly what happens. What would you say to me if I was, hey, Mr. Mercado, you're fat? I'm like, yeah. You look I, like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am fat, and you better watch out, because you'll be just like me. I don't uh, know, man. Oh... Uh, is there a time that you ever had to own a kid in the classroom or something? You know what I mean? You know, any time where they didn't want to play with your sense of humor, that they uh, went a little bit harder, you, they get in trouble or something? Um, I, I Meanest can't. thing anybody's ever said to you while you were substitute teacher. You're fat. Really? That's it? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's easy. They didn't call you like a fat bitch or anything? Nah, nah. They just nah. said you're fat. <laughs> Mr. Nah. Mercado, nice tits. <laughs> The meanest thing like someone said to me was, uh, yeah. was a kid in special ed. He's like, yo, Mr. Mercado, you got some man titties. Wait, you this kid was in push-ups. special ed? Uh, Damn. <laughs> Where <laughs> is this kid? Let's sign him up for the show. <laughs> <laughs> he went and, first. And this little kid in special ed, he sounds like a rapper or something. Yo, Mr. Mercado, <laughs> you got them man titties, though. <laughs> Loki, he might as well have been. <laughs> Wow, I mean, dude, you had such a fucking great set. You're, you it, you seem like you. a really smart dude, and you're putting it together. Uh, you ever come here? You come here often yeah, to the open mics, mics and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. live close to here? Um, sort of. Uh, Lemon Grove is like 45 minutes away. You live in a place called Lemon Grove? Yeah. <laughs> that is the most Mexican <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my yeah. life. Fuck yeah! Wow. Wow. Oh! <laughs> The stage is gonna break! Wow. Yo, this guy's I'm fucking sorry, representing. Uh, this guy just did a full wow. Mexican dance. I yeah. think, honestly, we need to build that wall. That was. Uh, <laughs> we gotta contain this man right here. Oh my god. This guy's having the fucking I'm time of his job, life. Guys. I love it. We've never, I don't think we've ever had anybody just get right into the Mexican hat band. I know. Like I've that. never seen that. You gotta be ready to. I love your spirit, dude. You, I love it. You have the fucking, you have the spirit of a guy much, much lighter than you. Uh, <laughs> and you fucking crushed it here tonight, dude. I'm rooting for you. I'm going to remember you. you. It's Alberto David Thank Mercado, you. everyone. Alberto David Mercado. <laughs> Boink. This is fun. This is exciting. There's a lot of names in there. Yeah, too. there's a lot of names. If you get uh, if you get pulled out of uh, of uh, of this one, uh, you can't do the second show. I've already decided. Because there's an outrageous number of uh, door guys that have already gotten pulled out of yeah. this bucket. <laughs> and if those guys get pulled up again, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. So. <laughs> Pull another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Derek Mann. Derek Mann. Derek. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got your mustache. Hell yeah. Come on. Good and loud for Derek Mann, everybody.
So, this mustache says a lot for me. I often think what people think when they see this. This mustache says, I enjoy working with palette, <laughs> but specifically, specifically palette with reclaimed barn did barn door hardware. That's what gets me off. This mustache. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You keep going, Derek, man. You keep going. You fucking go until you're done. These fucking, this table of fucking dog the bounty hunter's cousins over here. You shut the fuck up, all right? You guys probably didn't have the fucking balls to sign up, and now you want to make fun of this guy just because of the way he looks, so shut the fuck up. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This mustache says everything that I, I, I can't say, okay? So this mustache tells you that I'm probably going to talk to your girlfriend when you're not looking. <laughs> but it's, it's not my fault. It's your fault for not being able to grow the mustache. <laughs> But, but for real quick, real quick, I know we only have 60 seconds. I did want to do some jokes from before I had the mustache. So real quick. <laughs> One day I hope to grow a mustache to win my father's approval. <laughs> but I know I can't because my girlfriend fucking hates mustaches. Ah. So single life is great. There you go, Derek Mann, everybody. All right. Fuck yeah, dude. I like the way you look. I like the way your, uh, your energy. I like everything about you. Uh, that was incredible. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. He looks like the uh, final stage of the Tony Hinchcliffe evolutionary chart. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's after like, it's like so two more funny. years of growing it. It's it, right? so funny you say that because he literally, and I've never said this about anybody, he literally looks exactly like my older brother who's yeah, exactly does. 12 years older than me. Yeah. So uh, it's a true thing. You look like exact, from the man bun to the mustache. <laughs> that is exactly what my older brother looks like. Very impressive. Yeah. Uh, so how long have you been a douchebag for? <laughs> By the way, great set. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get to uh, your douchebaggery. First uh, time doing stand-up? You've been doing it a little while? It's first time. Really? Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> really, really good. Same advice I'd give to somebody that's done it uh, for 10 years. Fucking tighten that shit up. You don't need all the extra words. Uh, what is the reasoning for that kind of mustache? Like, I mean, I've never thought once to ever grow something like that. Like, do you <laughs> right. tie balloons to it? Like, what do you? What is it for? It's for being cool, Brian. No, uh, I mean, cl clearly you've made a lot of fashion decisions that uh, that you've stayed I, I, committed who? to. The guy's having fun. Look at him. Uh, that's it. Just having fun. Look yeah, how happy so. he is. You just, he looks like a Banana Republic Johnny Depp mannequin. <laughs> I, th I think we're a, a couple scarfs and bracelets short, but close. Um, how, how long you been tying women to train tracks? <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. Now, if you're here, then where are the other three guys in your barbershop quartet? <laughs> what do you do for a living? I actually do software sales now. Software sales? What kind of software are we talking about here? Fucking... To auto body shops. So I'm always over the phone all day long. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. They wouldn't yeah. buy it if they saw you, huh? <laughs> I mean, we're talking about guys that turn wrenches. Like, that's like me. That turn what? Turn wrenches. People that work in garages on cars. You know oh, a lot Mexicans. about cars? Yeah. <laughs> You really are a, like a, you know a lot about cars? Uh, yeah, I know yeah. a good amount about Is cars. Is that your thing? So you had a dad growing up? You really did? <laughs> I did. I yeah. did have a dad. Yeah, yeah, guys that don't have dads growing yeah. up get into cars later in life. A little fun fact for you. <laughs> uh, so uh, did you have a mom in the picture too? They were together? 
Uh, yeah, divorce when I was two. Divorce when you were two. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. That explains you doing stand up. Uh, <laughs> that's how that works. And so you've been doing that for a while. So let's talk about the pussy intake. You got a scarf on. For those of you listening to the podcast, man bun. Check, get your Kill Tony bingo card out. Man bun, all right? We got the, uh, the curled up mustache. Uh, we got a fucking uh, sunglasses hanging from the deep uh, shirt. We got fucking cowboy boots, a scarf, a denim jacket, and way too much confidence. What do you see over there? You got another angle over there, Dave Gunther. What do you got? I'm just upset that those cowboy boots have never seen the lacks of cow shit in their lives. <laughs> yes. Those cowboy boots have never touched cement before. Uh, he just steps right into his uh, fucking car. Um, hey, when, when you're having group sex with women, do you, when you... <laughs> group sex? <laughs> yeah. When you come, do you go, all for one, one for all? Yes. It is true. I do uh, now. It I is do tr- now. It is true. Uh, after this show uh, tonight, me, Derek, and the other musketeer are going out for uh, <laughs> for drinks. He named his digging balls Porthos, Athos, and Ramos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I read one book in high school, okay? <laughs> one book. So, Derek, I want to stay on point here. I'm going to try my best to get like through his this mustache? with you. Uh, so, uh, pussy intake. Let's talk about it. What's, what's some of your greatest accomplishments? Just be honest. You don't have to be funny. Just We want to know the real deal. Come on, Derek. What's the, most, uh, what's the most you've ever taken down in a period of time? What are we talking about here? <sighs> we talking knee high, waist high? Wait, you guys think girls like that? You think he's getting tons of pussy because of this mustache? No, it, 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 it's the overall look, Brian. If you're comparing... No, I, I look at that mustache and it just drives me nuts. Like, he, he, well, he, well... He, he looks lo- like what, he gets a bike with a really big front tire or well, something like that. Well, luckily... <laughs> L- luckily for us all, I'm pretty sure Derek isn't into banging chicks that look like you, Red Band. Yeah, because that's what I was talking about. What are you talking about? Red Band has the most fire pussy in this club. <laughs> you really think girls like that? I wouldn't fuck this in a heartbeat. No. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes, it, girls like that. I've, you, Gr- think, you think girls go, wow, look at that mustache. That's so hot. That's sexy. And It's not about the mustache. It's about the overall thing. Yeah, well, but you like, stop at the mustache. You're like, what the fuck? And then you run you're, away. You're <laughs> absolutely wrong. My qu- this guy, you know how a mustache gets like that? It's from pussy juice. Oh, it's just yeah. fucking... <laughs> That's the only way to get the mustache to defy gravity like that. How long have you had the mustache? Have you had it your whole life, or is it something new? I was not born with it, but I had it a few years ago. (laughs) Okay, let's get off the mustache. I'm going to go back to the question I've been trying to get an answer to for five minutes here. Can I get in one more? (laughs) Oh, okay, Dave Gunther. Yes, one more. I'm sure it'll be worth it. Does your pubic hair match your mustache? (laughs) (laughs) There you go. Yes. Oh, God. It looks like uh, like a tattoo of a bull. Very good. Okay, up here. Uh, now, the last time I asked you, you, I still wasn't able to get an answer out of you because uh, the question blew your mind. You actually overheated and weren't able to answer it. So your greatest sexual accomplishment. Yes. I'm uh, sure you have the fucking answer in your head by now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably being super young and then going super old. Not super old. You have a girlfriend? Not now. No. no. So what, do you, what, do you, what have you been doing? Like, what have you been fucking? Well, I mean, to Brian's point, not much. So, have you tried shaving the mustache? Let's get off the fucking mustache for a second. You seem really shy when it comes to talking about women. Like, I mean, I don't know what's going on here. Can you give us an example of why you haven't been uh, dating? Like, son of a why bitch do you try Tony. so hard if you're not getting <laughs> pussy? Uh, no, I. I had a relationship for a few years, and then I got out of it, and then I was like, oh, fuck it, I'm going to grow the mustache back. How long ago was that? Uh, How long ago like, did it end? It was a year and a half. A year and a half ago. Yeah. Did she break your heart a little bit? <sighs> is that a yes? No, uh, y- yeah, but it's... Yes, yeah, so the answer is yes. No, it's, it's okay. You have nothing to be afraid of. You had a great fucking set here. We're talking about your real life. No, I'm good. It's, it's more of like realizing how much control you do have over yourself 
and life. Give us an example of what you're talking about. Did you just spout a fortune cookie at us? What was that? Dude, this must What the man. hell was that? <laughs> Why do you look like a hipster top of teal bottle, man? <laughs> That's good. Yes. Right. You're my hero. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What did you uh what did you uh what did you learn about yourself or whatever the fuck you just said? <laughs> uh no. Uh <laughs> Did you cheat on her? No, no. There was no cheating. Oh, okay. It uh <sighs> You just realize how stupid you are? And I was like, yeah, it wasn't working out. What the fuck was I doing? Like, so why I wasn't it working out? Oh, when well, two people want different things. Right. So you take off that scarf and you wouldn't? How did she... I, I'm, just con, I'm just confused how, how she broke your heart. No, no. Because it seems like you didn't really want to be in it, but you did, but she didn't, but... Yeah, I did. I really wanted it, but it's fucking hard. And you realize that, and you get in habits or ignoring the other person. Like or... what? I don't know, man. When it gets to a point where you're Everything like, Everything else, you had fucking answers like that. We started talking about chicks. You're like, I don't know. You know how it is. You know what happened. You know. Look at me. You know what it is. Come on. You know already. Why are you asking? You know. It's like, the fuck is happening here? I have no idea. What happened? You It didn't work out. I so you left her. Up. You got in your hot air balloon and took off. And... <laughs> All right. We're cooler. spinning. You're too interesting of a character. I got to get you out of here. Derek Mann, everybody. There he goes. Pretty good set. He's good. That guy's good. Yeah. For it. For his first time. For his first, for his first time, time, that's time, one that's of the better impressive. sets we may have ever had Shame for a first timer mustache. on this show. You may hate his mustache, but you were growing that out for a while. But you, you were Not twisting really. I it. Just, I'm just, I was just seeing what the fuck it's like having facial hair. I just sometimes just let it go to the limits. <laughs> this is my first time ever having facial hair, so I'm excited about it. But now I keep it trimmed up. But before, yeah, I just let the whole thing go out because I'm like, whoa, that's what I l would look like if I gave up. Do you shave the middle part or is that just no, grown like that? No, that's all natural. That's crazy. All fucking natural <laughs> right there. There's a natural split. All right. We've lost uh, Jeremiah for some reason. He's making a real point. Something about the middle of my mustache, perhaps? I've been wanting to ask that question for months. What? There you go. I don't know why you wouldn't just ask. Uh, turns out my friends are extremely uh, obviously intimidated by me or something like that. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some I'm noise for it. Detroit. Well, all right. There we go. Red Band's got the timing of a fucking gorilla zoo. <laughs> Gorilla glue? <laughs> Put your hands together for Tim Hill, everybody. Tim Hill. Onward. Hello. Uh, yeah. I drove past the TGI Fridays on the way here, and uh, the sign out front of the TGI Fridays said, if you smell like marijuana, our wait staff won't help you. I was like, gee, that's funny. You want a bunch of sober people at your TGI Fridays. Uh, it sounds a hell of a lot like a TGI Thursdays, if you ask me. <laughs> there we go. So, self-deprecating humor. Everybody loves it. A little self-deprecating humor. You know, making fun of yourself. But me, I'm more of a fan of self-defecating humor, you know? It's jokes about pooping yourself, folks. Uh, my girlfriend thinks I'm the son of Satan. Uh, yeah, she really hates my mom. Yeah! I'm a hard worker. I like to go the extra mile. Uh, put my pickles in their place, you know, make sure my T's are crossed, I's are dotted, and my Q's are fucked up the ass by lowercase L's. There you go. Fuck yeah. Tim Hill. 
Hell yeah. Hi Welcome there. to the fucking show, Tim Hill. I mean, look at this. This, hey. is, uh, this is like a Timothy McVeigh if he blew that place up with Napoleon Dynamite. Ah. This is very incredible. You have an awesome look. Everybody Thanks, tonight's man. been so charismatic. Oh. I've loved your work ever since you wrote all the Harry Potter books. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Look at you, Tim. Great fucking set, by the way. Unbelievable. How long have you been on stand-up for? Uh, Three years. Three years. Uh, What do you do for a living? Uh, Marijuana stuff. Marijuana stuff. My goodness gracious. Yeah. Wow. Clearly, you came straight from work tonight. Uh, (laughs) What are you, an indica, sativa guy, something like that? I like indicas because sativas don't do much at the point that you, when you smoke so much. Really? How about CBD? You yeah. like CBD? Yeah, what do you think about CBD? CBD, CBD works when it's real. No, yeah, sure. and of course like it is. And that's yeah. why, you I know, we found it, our though. favorite uh, CBD place. It's Infinite CBD. They yeah. offer the cleanest, healthiest, and purest forms of CBD available. And, uh, you know, it was just 420 season, and I, uh, I love this new April deal that they have going on. I use it... Uh, <laughs> I, I use it a lot. I use the uh, CBD gummies. They're very calming. They're great for insomnia. We've been on the road a lot, so it's good. And then in the mornings, they have the CBD AM pills with caffeine. Great for when you need to focus, be calm, and get stuff done. And, and you're right. man. There's a lot of bullshit CBD out there. You've got to yeah, find no. the purest CBD yeah. you can find. You know, Infinite CBD is also tested by a third party for its purity. It's true. Uh, yeah. It's true. And... and it works for us, and yeah. research has shown that it has helped people for a variety of different ailments, including pain management, anxiety, insomnia, and more. So why not head over to InfiniteCBD.com, and if you use the promo code TONY15 for April only, they'll give you 20% off. That's right. It's a 420 special. Use the promo code TONY15 for 20% off orders in April. Thanks, everybody. That's my time. Have a good night. No, you stay up here, Tim. You stay up here. Uh, so uh, let's talk about it. What else are you into? Why do you look like uh, you take uh, skateboards to go bird scootering? I, <laughs> I, just, I just always liked having the long hair. I got a really weird face. Really? really? Is that true? I, it's long if you look at it. Is it's it? really like... Oh, well, hey, yeah, that's never stopped me. No, I just always grew the hair out long, and, and like, is that I, a way to unlong your? It seems face? like that makes it longer. I yeah. guess maybe I don't know. It just I, I've always wondered that. Like it, 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 it doesn't maybe really counteract. Like makes... if you look at, uh, I can't remember whether it's Bert or Ernie, whichever one has the I long mean... head. Like he goes with a, he has this weird like mohawk hairdo. I'm like, why are you doing Bert, that to yourself, Bert, dude? Yeah. Why you do? You already have a long head. You're like Bert. No, at least you're the top, you're not the bottom. I'll start, I'll start sticking it on up. What? I'll start sticking it up. Well, that would make uh, it, well, I feel like it's connected to the beanie, man. What are you into other than uh, what do you do for hobbies? Uh, what do I you play do? a lot of video games, um, but other than that, I just, uh, like, I, like, I work, like, uh, like, most days a week, all day, and then afterwards I just do video games until I can go to comedy. Right, right. Uh, interesting. Nothing else? Nothing physical? No disc golf or anything like that? You ever go <laughs> no. to... You ever go to uh, Morley Park and just let it rip, you know what I mean? I don't, uh, I really, I don't do a whole lot. No, I just, uh, I moved out to San Diego to work marijuana and do comedy. That's interesting. Uh, other than that, just video marijuana games. Marijuana and comedy and avoid the sun. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I don't like it here. How really much, uh, how much do you weigh, man? 135. Wow, really? Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. That's how much I weigh. You're a little bit taller than me. Yeah. Wow, oh, look at God, you. You guys. Both of you together is what I weigh. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Those infinite CBD gummies yeah. they put on the pads. Right. Uh, hell yeah. My goodness. How do you keep such a thin frame? Is it just natural? You have fast metabolism? Uh, hyperactive thyroid. Oh, wow. I, I really? shit a lot. Uh, my oh. food just goes all the way through. Wow. It's just good. It's not what happens. I eat and I shit. It just you see how you see how beautiful, honest answers are when they just answer without overthinking. It? Why are you so thin? Hyperactive thyroid. I shit all the time. It's beautiful. No hesitation there. Not like the fucking mustache man pondering his brilliant thoughts. So Tim, let's talk about it. How big's your dick? I, I, 
normal. We're curious. You're long. You're thin. We're wondering: does the uh, does the uh, dick match the everything else? Uh, yeah, you got big ass feet, man. Clo- yeah. Close to close to this. Oh, 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 okay. I wasn't expecting a real answer, but oh. the crowd I went crazy. Trying. They loved it. Yeah, that's um, that's average, like nine inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ten inches. No, no, no. I, I shrunk it. I shrunk it. <laughs> Can you suck your own dick? I do oh. No. Boy, oh boy, do I wish. Boy, have you, have oh you boy. tried? Have you like bent down? Not, not in years. Really? Do you have a Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Does she look like you? Uh, no, she's like this tall. She's a little person. Oh. Really? Yeah. She's a little person, yeah, or she's twelve. She's four six. No, she has, uh, no, is she's no, she's a she's a twenty one year old who is four six. You're wow. dating a twenty one year old that's four six. Yeah. My goodness. Wow. wow. The, so the pedophile head is all making yeah. sense now. She's like, yeah. she's like a little fleshlight. Get him when they're young. Is she here tonight? No, she's not. Oh. My goodness. Tiny little one, four foot six. You guys ever do any weird sexual positions? You ever put the old bread in the toaster? You know what I mean? No, oh. is it? <laughs> yeah. No. You ever no, do? No, nothing, the... nothing too wild. It's really easy to roll a lot, actually, though, to change positions. Oh, the old, nice, the nice, old quick, bowling ball down good, the gutter. Quick you know what I mean? <laughs> easy to roll. Pick her up like a bowling ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. How long have you two been together? Where'd you, like five years. Where'd you meet her? High school. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a what second. What high school? You, wait, 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 wait. You guys, you guys, how old are you? 22. 22. She's 21. You met five years ago. Hold on a second here. Oh, yeah. Oh, how yeah. long were you guys fucking illegally for? A year. Whoa. Rapist, 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 rapist. <laughs> Wow. And I'll do it again. I don't Come care. Come on, look at him. Would anybody have guessed walking down the street that this guy would ever rape anybody? Come on. He, he, he looks like if Jeffrey Dahmer took up professional skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Well, Tim, I mean, uh, fucking great stuff. How long have you been doing this again? Three years. Three fucking years. It shows you came up guns ablaze, and I mean, you're right up there uh, with uh, with a lot of uh, great sets that we've had on this show. So thank you right so on. fucking much. Thank Tim you. Hill, everybody. Follow him on Twitter. Tim Hill Boy. All one word. Ron Ripley. Riot. It's all happening. Mm-hmm. Back to the old bucket. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? Mm. Bunch of animals down here in La Jolla. People are evil. All right. Put your hands together for A.C. Smith. Here we go. Here comes A.C. A.C. Smith, ladies and gentlemen. (sighs) Good Lord, I hate women. And women hate me. (laughs) What? I approached a woman the other day, and this is a true story. I approached her. She had a ring in her left hand. I asked her, are you married? She said, no. I said, you wear that ring to keep all the losers from hitting on you, right? She said, yeah. Is it working? Said it has until now. That's a true story. (laughs) Fuck you, people. (laughs) I hate women. I walked to the bank the other day. I got my paycheck, my pathetic paycheck. I'm going to deposit it, and I see this gorgeous bank teller. Gorgeous. What can I say to this girl to impress her? I realize there's nothing I can say to this girl to impress her. She has access to my account. (laughs) She knows how fucking broke I am. So sick of this shit. A.C. Smith, everybody. (laughs) Fuck yeah. Wow. uh, You stay right here. Put that microphone in front of you. Face out that way. Face that way. I don't want you within punching distance of me. (laughs) Take a half a step forward. Hey, Chroma Chris. It's, uh, it's been it. years since we've seen Coach. What you been up to, buddy? <laughs> Out of the slammer? 
AC Smith, you are a serious man. For those of you, uh, for those of you listening to the podcast, this this guy looks like he holds the record for most domestic violence. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Fighting out of the red corner. And he's standing way too close to us. Yeah. Just step away from the talent. He literally looks like the uh, the like Hall of Fame of beating women, perhaps. Uh, like like there is a statue of him outside of the woman beating Hall of Fame. Uh, Yeah. We call that the Statue of Liberty. (laughs) Chroma Chris. (laughs) Chroma Chris. That is, don't get it twisted, listeners. That is Chroma Chris. I know a lot of people, a lot of people here at the store, a lot of people watching live think it's, uh, think it's if Meg Ryan played Forrest Gump, but no, it's Chroma Chris. <laughs> Chroma Chris. Uh, but let's keep it on AC Smith over here. Have you had bad experiences with women? Like, that for, <laughs> like the ex-wife or something? Have you, uh, do you really hate women? Uh, yeah, I hate you, Yoana and Jacek. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Okay. Relax. AC. Wait. Wait. AC. What, 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 was, what was what was the last what was the last word you said? It was a UFC joke. He gets it's it. It's okay. I get it. Yeah. It's okay, guys. Uh, okay, Everybody, man. take it easy. I just didn't understand it. what you were saying. I don't want to bully AC. I don't want to get him mad. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he might smother you with a pillow like he does his women later at night. <laughs> just shush. AC, you just seem shush like a mouth. very. You're, he's a very passionate man. Very, so you made me genuinely laugh really hard when you said, "You know, I got my paycheck, my pathetic paycheck." Like that was. There's nat, There's little natural moments where, at some points, twice for like a half a second each, you were the funniest person on stage all night. But other than that, you seem genuinely angry. Yeah. Uh, now you have this uh, earbud contraption around your neck. Uh, is that to uh, is that to monitor your blood pressure or something like that? Just earbuds? Is that a question? Is this your first time doing stand-up? Yes, it is. Hey, A.C. Smith. There you go. Here comes the goat of the first time. <laughs> Little first-time sheep. Don't Thank sheep you. on them. Thank you for dressing up for us tonight. So. <laughs> A.C., uh, what, type of, uh, what type of heating and cooling equipment do you do for a living? <laughs> what do you do for work? What's your real job, A.C.? If you care, I'm actually very successful. Okay, what are you successful in? <laughs> yes, I do care. I just asked you what you do for a living. And, that, uh, and, that, and that's why... And then, and then I would ask you why you dress like a guy that works in heating and cooling if we find out <laughs> that you're really successful. It's a win-win for me, you see. I'm very successful at what I do. I beat up at least three or four women a week. <laughs> What do you, you don't want to talk about what you do for work? Absolutely. I work as a civil engineer in oh. Las Vegas. And, and what was the last thing? Uh, <laughs> law service? Las, Las Vegas. Vegas? Las Vegas. I oh, flew out here the, to see you, Hinchcliffe. Uh, wow. Very yeah. good. Open your fucking very ears, good. Tony. Uh, again, again, he's so nice and so mean at the same yeah. time. I, I fucking fl- flew out here to see you. I flew out here to see you because I love you with all my heart. Just a friendly reminder, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, Saturday, May 11th, making our return to, uh, to the dive bar. You're going to be there for that? I have tickets. You already got tickets. I love it. You got, t- you got one happy. ticket for you and one for the one you're going to beat the shit out of that night. <laughs> My goodness. AC, what else are you into? What, what, uh, what, uh, what else should we know about a guy that dresses like he's about to uh, go umpire home plate for the uh, Padres? Uh, through my teens and through my 20s, I was an amazing drummer for a band. Whoa! <laughs> the crowd is going ballistic. Hands are in the air. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, that, that only... Yes, Joel Berry, is there something that you want to say? I was going to say that was at least 60 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something, AC. The passion that you have, uh, you seem like a very serious man, and my guess, you said teens and 20s. Uh, there's no doubt about it, ladies and gentlemen. There will be 
a Mexican drum off here tonight. We are just minutes away from Tijuana in La Mexico. Right so, here, no better than San Diego, as close to a true Mexican drum off as we could possibly have. Uh, AC, why don't you uh, take a step right behind here and one, uh, yep. one request, Tony, is I see the hometown crowd gets behind your boy over here. I uh, want to go second. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! No, no, no. That's never been requested before. Unfortunately, unfortunately, AC, and you want to keep these people on your side. There is a formula to the show. But let me remind you. Let me keep it fair and remind you. You can do anything you want. It's about showmanship. It's about comedy. It's about beating on those fucking drums. It's about putting on a real show. So you could do whatever you want. Not, and even to make it fair, since this is a tight stage, a tight setup tonight during your performance, I'll have the band sort of stand over next to Ryan J. Belt so that everybody can see you. We'll keep it fair. You know what I mean? This is how to do it. So come on back here. You keep your... All right. Also, Let's... we need one woman to be volunteered to come up here and get beat up while he's playing the drums. <laughs> yes. We need someone to be the. We need a woman to be the bass drum here tonight. Uh, yes. Hold on. Hold on. Joelberg wants to say something. Uh, I can't believe this guy's good at hitting things. There you go. Joelberg can't even help himself, even when uh, even when he's uh, getting ready. You ready for this, AC? Will you sit on the throne? I don't think you people are ready. I'm phenomenal. Okay, AC. AC, come on. Let's do it. All right, be careful. All right, there we go. It's a real hazard up here. I was really excited about this until he just said he was phenomenal. Now, yeah. I, now I feel like he might be fucking with us, but we're going to know real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, you ready for this? Mexican drum off. Are you in position? Your foot's not even on the bass pedal. You sure you know what you're doing? You sure? Ladies and gentlemen, A.C. Smith. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's one of the worst things ever. Here he goes. Come on out. Come on. AC. There he goes. AC. I just showed him my butthole, y'all. There he goes. AC Smith, everybody. There he goes. That way. That way. AC. All the way. 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 <laughs> you know what sure that may have sucked and that may have been one of the worst moves in the sportsmanship of Kill Tony history do him one more time A.C. Smith but you know what I'm let's face it we know who was gonna win this thing and still here to give you a drum solo Joel Joel Jimenez everybody Old school, deep camera, the full tube sock. Sober Joe Jimenez, everyone. Wow, standing ovation, just incredible. Fuck yeah, this place is in complete chaos right now. I like it like this. Uh, so uh, let's keep this fun train moving along, shall we? Place is in chaos. 
Everybody's fucking hyped up. These fucking idiots want my job. They got Aphrodite. But I ain't. They got but a I, Mexican but drum off. Everything's crazy. How about one more surprise, huh? Let's fucking do it, shall we? You guys, could you guys possibly be having any more fun? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the current and standing regular of Kill Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery! <laughs> wow, here he is in the flesh, ready for San Diego for his very first time. This is the real William Montgomery, everybody. I don't know who's running this place, but I was trapped in the porta potty for 45 fucking minutes. I have diverticulitis. Uh, but seriously, don't mistake me for the pilot. I only operate the flight simulator. Uh, who's winning the game? God damn it! It's an impression of my father whenever we watch sports at my house. He's a horrible gambler. He's a fan of the New York uh, Enigmas. They are a hockey team now defunct. But seriously, I work at the, uh, the uh, Lexus Tustin up north. I sell hatchbacks and, uh, and SUVs. <laughs> wow. There you go. William motherfucking Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. This is William's first time ever performing at the La Jolla Comedy Store, everyone. I actually, uh, uh, two years ago, I was roofied out back. Um... <laughs> Ended up in a garbage can. I, I had frostbite on uh, my fingers. It was yeah. freezing cold. Yeah. And uh, this is what William looks like, everybody. Uh, for those of you wondering, he looks like a guy that's been in line waiting to see Caddyshack at a theater for uh, 30 years. This is his thing. Also, uh, the Lion King. I wore the same thing for the Lion King premiere. He looks like if a wildling got cataract surgery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Where do you even find those shorts? They, those are jams, right? Uh, they're jams. That is with two Zs. It's a uh, pretty prolific company. I sponsor some of of their sales on uh, eBay. You can look us up. We are a uh, New York Enigma fan. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is mind-boggling. You do look like what it would look like if, uh, if that big guy on uh, Game of Thrones finally got to fuck that new female knight that he's always wanted to bang. Right? A little fucking red-headed, like... Uh, chubby little bitch baby boy. Uh, Brian Tarth. Yeah. Hey, you wanted to give us some Sir Avengers Brian spoilers, Tarth. right? You wanted to give us some spoilers from the new Avengers movie? Yes, I did. Uh, I don't know anything about fan. this. I don't know what this is. This is um, clearly basically, a, uh, I don't know if y'all are fans of uh, Swamp Thing. I can't believe he made an appearance in that movie. Um, Swamp Thing ends up getting dried up out of the swamps. It is a, a very strange part of the, the movie. Uh. All right, I'm going uh, to cut you off again there. Uh, William, what is, what is that that you're drinking here? You're drinking, for those of you listening to the podcast, William, uh, I mean, I, this is going to take a while, but he's wearing a golf hat, uh, a tiny backpack, a bathing suit, uh, flip flops. He look. He's got the shirt of uh, a Florida Gators football coach, and it appears as if though uh, since the last time he was on the show, he's gone completely blind. Uh, uh, since since we saw him on Monday, um, 
What is uh, that? Uh, what is that in the cup, William? It's one of my uh, favorite drinks. It's a uh, Yuhu mixed with ephedrine. Um, <laughs> just a real hell of a beverage. Uh, I think the night I was freezing in the dumpster out back. I had been drinking a bunch of these, and word to the wise, if you drink uh, too much ephedrine, really messes with your circulatory system. <laughs> wow, that's so educational. Uh, fuck yeah. Well, William, uh, have, you, uh, have you gone to a doctor to, ch to treat this diverticulitis you have? Last night, I, I had... <laughs> I had this dream where I, I visited our old neighbor back in Memphis, uh, Dr. Asgar Kalani. He was a plastic surgeon. I, I dreamt I visited him. Um, pretty soon into our meeting, I realized it was the wrong kind of doctor. I have a disease called diverticulitis. I, I can't breathe when I go in airplanes. I can't see under the ocean. Uh, you can't see near the ocean? <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> you can't see? You can't see when you're near the ocean? You go blind when you're near the ocean? Like right now? 100 feet to the ocean, I can't see. <laughs> My sense of smell goes into hyperdrive. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, what can I say? There he is for you. This is what it looks like. The great and powerful William Thank Montgomery, you. ladies and gentlemen. You guys want to go back to the bucket one more time? What's it? Okay. Uh, let's try. This looks like an interesting name. Make some noise for Pretty Ricky, everyone. Pretty Ricky. Oh, look who it is. Wow. Pretty Ricky, everyone. Thank you. So I grew up in Boston and I liked football. I liked the New England Patriots. How many of you guys like them? So every time I hear this, I have a little poem for you guys. Ready? All you pad haters make me sick. And all us pat fans say is suck our dicks. And while you're at it, fuck Roger Goodell. I hope that motherfucker burns in hell. We all know that the NFL is shady. Just ask our quarterback, Mr. Tom Brady. If you had a million dollars and you bet it all, are you worried about the fucking ear or the fucking bad calls? There's one thing that we won't tell. Without gambling, there's no NFL. All the fiends are gamblers and drunks. No church on Sunday. Who would have thunk? Because we don't care if they beat their wife as long as our fantasy team comes to life. I wish all you would learn to cheat. Then you wouldn't be so fucking easy to beat. Wow. All night long. Yeah. Pretty, pretty Ricky. Wow. That must make me tall Paul. Uh... <laughs> My goodness, you are uh, a scary looking dude. I like your fucking style. You look like you crawled out of the sand here in La Jolla and just started fucking living. But I guess you're originally from Boston. I don't know. You sort of look like a brain damaged Howard Stern to me. I can't quite put my finger on it. Yes, Paul. Yeah. How, how come uh, your shirt looks like mac and cheese and your hair looks like fettuccine, huh? <laughs> it's true. You look like a retired Because I got it from you, my brother. Uh, You're my twin. Wow. Don't touch the talent. Man. 0 for 32 Don't here, Pretty Ricky. It's not going good for you. It looks like uh, you spent one too many nights at Rob Deerdick's Fantasy Factory. <laughs> <laughs> 
my goodness. Just a big old uh, NFL ramble, huh? That was your thing? You're the NFL guy? Not really, Tony. No. No, you just tried it tonight. Heck yeah. What's, uh, what's your story, Ricky? This is your first time ever doing comedy, right? You signed up. You decided to take a chance. You were with the table of hecklers from earlier. You're... No, I know. That's exactly So, yeah, Tony, you said right away, you go, oh, yeah, you're heckling, and, um, you know, you didn't even have the balls to sign up. So uh -huh. I did have the balls to sign up. Uh-huh. And, and that's uh, what you did. So that was you that was heckling earlier, and then well, that I was just trying happened. not to heckle, but, um, you know, it fucking happened. You know, it happens. You it seem happens. like a guy that day drinks, right? <laughs> well, Tony, on that note, on that note, I absolutely day drink, because yeah. uh, as Frank Sinatra says, I feel sorry for, for people, people who don't who drink. wake up and that's as good as they feel all day. Exactly. All right, there he goes. Pretty Ricky, everybody. Hi. Pretty Ricky. <laughs> Woo! All right. It's good, it's good. We only had one of those this episode. That's good. Let's get a female up. Yeah, what do you say we keep pulling until we get a woman up here, huh? Very good. Just going to keep pulling names until we get a, uh, a woman. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that, won't you? Huh. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Now that, that would be weird. Vince, Sean, uh, James. Wow. A.C. Uh. Smith is a garbage human. That's incredible. A.C. Smith. Where the fuck is this guy? Get him out of here. Where's... Good, good. Th there you go. I went in. It's, that's, that's how powerful I am. I kicked him out after he left. That's what we're talking about. Lonnie's probably a dude, right? Yeah. Is, Lon is Lonnie a woman? Where's Lonnie at? It's a guy. Lonnie's a guy. Da <laughs> Damien's a guy. Man, comedians are getting so desperate. All right. Like, I can here we go. We got it. Make some noise for your final comedian of the night, your first lady of the night. Put your hands together for San Diego's own, Lauren Jameson. Lauren Jameson. Here she comes. Woo! Greetings, y'all. I am Lauren House Jameson. GOT freak. Anybody else out there? We're missing it. We're missing it right now for this. So this better be good. Uh, so much show that I'm a GOT freak that um, I just had anal for the first time. <laughs> it's Share and Tell Sunday, or Sodomy Sunday in this case for me. I mean, I felt like this was a safe space to talk about this. I'm amongst, what, a hundred of my closest friends? Well, anyway, um, it's a big accomplishment this uh, milestone in my life. So I did what any girl would do. I called my dad the next day to tell him about it. <laughs> Either to brag or maybe to blame him, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh man, any women out there? Uh, gays, hush, hush yourselves. Oh damn. Go ahead, right. finish it, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I wanted to know if any ladies out there have been a successful recipient of the butt sex. Don't all volunteer at once. That's right, because it's never been fucking successful. All right, y'all. My name wow. is Lauren House Jameson. Thanks go. so much. There it is. Lauren Jameson. <laughs> Lauren Jameson, Game of Thrones fan that had anal recently. I did. Oh, how, my goodness, I love how those two things come together. How long does it take to pop back out? The You're, show has inspired me to go, go to lengths and depths I've That man never made it beyond the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, my so, brain was rather lubricated with God knows what booze. I, I honestly can't be certain that my asshole was. So. Wow. Yes. The watch, was, the watch has ended, I guess. It was, when it comes to uh, your butt Winter hole. is coming. You should have tried Something to hold the coming. door. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Okay. Let's let's hold all, the door, not close the door. Okay. Let's all reset here. Let's all take a breath all at once, everybody. <sighs> Brian's Woosah. been holding his breath for a second here. He loves this. <laughs> okay. So, when did this happen exactly? When did you uh, have something in your butt? 48 hours ago? 48 hours no. ago. 
Wow. I know, didn't you see me walking weird up here? A little fucking... <laughs> there you go. There's a fart noise, everybody. Se- get off going. of your horse and head on into the saloon. Second like. question. Can Red Band smell it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does it, <laughs> does it stink? Uh, stink? There did did anything come out? Okay. Huh? Very good. There we go. Very good, Ryan. 24 hours ago, yes. Very good. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Thank God it wasn't a screaming child. Okay. I I guess you didn't understand the question. Did anything come out, like, when you had sex? You know, sometimes. Again, a very inebriated situation. So so you didn't even check. That's good. Uh, How many drinks? How many? It kind of just, the pain is probably so morbid, you just kind of fall asleep. Lauren, stick with me over here, over (laughs) here. Mostly just me. Just ignore everybody else. Okay. Uh, How many drinks did you have before uh, you decided that you would have anal sex? If you had to guess how many drinks you had that night. Very good, very good. Give or take a uh, 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 distillery. I don't know. A half dozen a half cocktails, a dozen. maybe? A half dozen. Can I order a uh, half dozen yeah. uh, <laughs> drinks in the bar real quick? Can we get six mudslides? <laughs> there you go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Great, Great man. man. No rim chops. Hey, no rim Look chops. at that. Uh, so why did you think, uh, why do you think now? Why do you think now is the time? Why do you think that today? I don't know. He, I did just, he go for it? Did he shove it in there? Did he ask you? He's like, I want to. You know, he actually moved away. So I feel like it was kind of like a parting gift. Really? So two days ago, generous. the guy left. He fucked your butt and then left. And now here I am. Is that, is this true? <laughs> it's oh, like the old, the old shaky hand. Tony, the, the, old guy, the, it, the guy in the front row goes, farting <laughs> gift. What? The guy on the front row said farting gift because she oh, said parting. very good. Never mind. Next time, just say it. Don't say the guy. In the I wanted to give credit. No, I sure. Okay, good job. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> fucking great. Why don't you tweet at him or something, Joel? Uh, oh, boy. So what, what parts aren't done? real of the story? What parts are made up? That he left, that it was two days ago? What well, the fuck are okay, we talking about Well, okay, the two days here? ago thing. It actually, uh, it's my year anniversary. This happened a year ago. Wow. Last, yeah. What anniversary? But I'm still left with What anniversary the is it? The one year butt stuff anniversary, right? It, it, what is it's that? It's something like to celebrate. Something I think it's like a big that? deal. Wow. I mean, you, I've never done just, it in my life. You just life. talk through all the yeah, quiet just, spots, huh? You really... just keep rambling, huh? Yeah. He should have shoved it in your fucking mouth instead of your ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a bumbling right. little one. You huh? just got hinge clipped. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> is that a new thing? <laughs> Hell yeah, no you just got hinge clipped. No oh, idea. shit. You did. Uh, w- w- yeah. What do you do for work? Lauren Jameson? Uh, for work? Um, by day, I'm, I'm a realtor. Oh. I hate that word. Real yeah. tour. Yeah, I'll give Real. you a real tour of the back closet <laughs> of this place. You know what I'm saying? Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Say me a Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, so, um, you sell houses. Basically, yes. Wow. I work for free, trying to make other people's dreams come true. And you sell them yourselves. You show everybody everything, all the way to the back door, right? I mean, whatever it takes to sell. Yeah, to sell, right? Uh, this is a number two bedroom <laughs> over sexual. here. Sexual. Uh, you Wait might till like you see the basement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might like to look back at the uh, the shed. There might be a little <laughs> little hoe in the backyard. You know what I mean? Oh uh, man! <laughs> right now the plumbing's a little clogged <laughs> up. <laughs> Buck. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. So did you enjoy it? Do you remember? It was just the one-time thing. You were uh, drunk. I mean, I. Uh, yeah, a little bit. It was like you know, he he wasn't even that big. That's the thing. Like he's that's a f- but just I guess up there, like everything can feel big. <laughs> yeah, you know? well, I guess so. Uh, I guess so. Are you I'm giving not, Are I'm you not, giving a pep talk for small dick guys <laughs> around the country right now? I, anything can feel big up in a butthole. Yeah. Yes. Now here's the next slide on my TED talk. It's true. Y'all are getting the, the preview back here. Unless, of course, you have a giant butthole. Do you have a big butthole? No. Do you have a big ass? Uh, it's very small set. Like on, like on a scale from one to this bucket, how big is your butthole exactly? <laughs> a thimble. All right, all right. Does your poop come out sideways? <laughs> oh, red band. I don't do that. Man, red I don't band, do red, that. Red band, red bands all the way up when someone I, does uh, 40, when a girl does 40 seconds on anal sex. Yes. It's like the Incredible Hulk over here. Mm. Did your poop come out sideways? Ah. Yes, it's a superpower. 
Speaking of Avengers, from the last one. Very good. Lauren, tell us something fun about yourself that we'd be surprised to know. Like, you know, I didn't just share all, bear all, just a minute ago. (laughs) If that's the Um, biggest part of your personality, that's sad. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I'm from One year ago, I tried anal sex once. The end. Goodbye, everybody. That's a wrap. You into anything? Any hobbies? What would we? What would we? Any life accomplishments? Um, You know, like you once beat John Benet in a beauty pageant or something like that. Oh man, I am from the South. Actually, Uh I'm from Houston, Texas. Hell yeah! A little disappointed. I know uh, phones aren't allowed in here, but I did check the score, and the Rockets lost. A little bit devastating. Oh boy! If you want to talk sports, go hang out with Pretty Ricky in the corner over there. Uh, I can't believe Slate Houston Ricky. lost. Yeah, that Roger Good I'm Deal's sorry. a real I'm asshole. Diehard fan. I love it. I'm from. I'm proud. My I'm a proud Texan. I'm a proud Texan. Wow. Live. Well, we're gonna bring it on home here. Are you sure there's nothing else about you? Anything in your entire life that we'd be surprised to know? One time. Uh, I have been on this stage once before. Oh only yeah. Once. What'd you do? I didn't know they had a poll here before. It was on. <laughs> Whoa. You're a wild little one, aren't you? Uh, That's all right. It's been a long day, as you can imagine. People in San Diego are good at improvising. She did the same thing with that that the guy did with the Mexican hat dance earlier. (laughs) But when she bent over, a turd came out. Like it's wow, (laughs) red band. You just got red band. Man, I'm just getting rocked up here. (laughs) Yo, bitch, you got Hinchcliffe and red band. I have cowboy boots on that have seen cement. I heard you giving someone shit about his boots. Wow, I right. bet. Right. Oh, oh, yes. Seen cement? Fuck yeah. The man with the pallet over All there. All right. Our well, burritos we're, are cold. We're going to fucking do it, dude. Uh, how about one more hand for Lauren Thanks, and Jameson, everybody? Fuck yeah. <laughs> and we did it. Ryan J. Ebel drew tonight's episode. Ryan J., why don't you come on up here? The great Ryan J. Ebel drew that while you all sat there doing nothing. Look at that. Now, a, uh, a big reminder that uh, we are selling Ryan J. Ebelt road posters right in the lobby after the show. Jeremiah's got a little bit of merch. There is uh, some Death Squad shirts, some official Kill Tony shirts. Uh, Jeremiah, how about, a, how about another hand for Jeremiah Watkins here tonight, everybody? The band Lida. Jeremiah's got the new Reagan and Watkins album coming out June 7th. There's a new episode of uh, Jeremiah Wonders. Yeah, Jeremiah Wonders. Uh, check out my podcast on all platforms. Follow me on yep. social media at Jeremiah Standup. Thanks for the love and support, guys. How about another hand for the great Chroma Chris, everybody? Look at him over there. Two for two tonight, y'all. A two big, for two. Big two for two. He cranked it out of the park. Chroma Chris, what do you think of tonight's episode? I ain't even got a mullet over, Tony. It was awesome. <laughs> there you go. It's still two for two. Two for two. Uh, <laughs> how, about, how about one more time, good and loud, for Joel, for Joel Jimenez, everybody. Wow. Mostly sorry on all social media. Shout out to the guy in the front row. Anything else? Uh, thank you to Ludwig, and I love you guys. Peace. I love it. Don't forget Caveman Coffee. Why don't you save uh, 15% by uh, using uh, the password Kill Tony for that and use Tony15 over at infinitecbd.com. If you have any ailments, try it. They'll give you 20% off your orders in, uh, in April. We'll see what the deal is in May. Uh, and uh, that's it. We'll see you out in the lobby. We're going right. to keep it moving quick. All Thank right, you guys, guys so much. Good night. <laughs>